Hello there. Hello, good afternoon. It's me, Arizu Gaming. Um, I'm playing on a weekend because we have a little bit of free time. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing some Stardew Valley uh, today. Um, I played this for about 200 hours uh, off stream and I've done most of the stuff except for the Tropical Island stuff. I've had a lot of fun with this game. It's very fun to just relax in and also quite fun to actually like sort of figure out how to optimize it. I've been watching a lot of Stardew Valley speedrunning streams. Yeah, we're going to be doing some co-op uh, with partner. I'm going to I'm going to bring uh, DJ Cookies in after after I get through the cutscene. So uh, let's let's begin. Let's begin the game. Let's see the opening cutscene and then uh, dive right in. And let me find the actual window. Where is the window? Here it is. <laughs> Alrighty. Yes. Partner is going to be playing on this. We're going to set up Whiskers Farm, and it's going to be very, very relaxed. <laughs> Good 
Can you be a slave? I'm not sure what you mean by that. Oh, do you, do you want to be a Juniper? Um, just kidding, I don't know what to do in this game. Yeah, I'm not sure uh, what renaming options there are going to be. Um, so I'll look into that, but we'll figure it out. But yeah, let's get started. I'm going to host a multiplayer game. And then once we've done the opening cutscene, I'm going to add Sarah and um, add partnering on Discord chat. So let's see. The name is Arisia Gaming. Oh. Yeah, here we go. Farm name. Whiskers Farm. Favorite thing. Whiskers. Feels pretty obvious. We already agreed. We already agreed that we're going to have a cat. So. Sorry, dog lovers. There's no dogs. There's no dogs allowed on this farm. Uh, starting cabins. Yes. Uh, so there's the main farmhouse, and you can start with between 0 and 3 cabins if you're doing multiplayer. I'm going to start with one. Um, so the DJ Cookies can have their own uh, cabin if they want. We're going to stay close together, though. Hey, Club Step, how's it going? Doing some Stardew. Um, we're going to do normal profit margins, and we're going to share money. I think that makes sense, because that's essentially what, <laughs> what we do in real life. Um, and we are going to do the beach farm. Uh, so there's no sprinklers allowed, but there's lots of foraging and fishing and lots of open space. Um, and I haven't tried this farm, and neither has partner. So we're going to do this, and we're also going to try and eventually get to the um, get to the tropical island and do all that content because I haven't done it yet. Um, I'm not going to spend too long worrying about this um, hair color. Let's try and make it a bit more of a blondie color. That's about right. Um, clothes? I'm going to change these all later. So do hair-wise. Go for the Bob Ross afro. Again, I can change this all later. I'm just going to go with the messy hair for now. There we go. Um, oh, let's change eye color. Let's have the blue eyes. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Alrighty, there we go. Uh, settings. I think we're going to leave all the settings on normal. It's fine. Put a random seed in there. That's pretty interesting. I've seen that when people do speedruns of this game, they do a lot of seed manipulation to figure out where all the buried, buried stuff is. They're obviously not going to do any of that today. Right, let's go. Let's watch the uh, let's watch the starting cutscene together because it's very uh, very touching. Here is Grandpa Ariza Gaming and for my very special grandson. I can't speed up the text. I want you to have the sealed envelope. His bed doesn't look very comfy, does it? <laughs> yeah, we got the envelope. Bro looks like a knockoff Santa. <laughs> It's our grandpa. And that's presumably us as a baby on the shelf. Now listen close. There will come a day where you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Sorry, you can't see that text. I'm not going to lie, when I played this for the first time, it's actually made me tear up a little bit. And your bright spirit will fade for a growing emptiness. It's flat matches ever. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this game. Yeah, I've seen there's actually mods where they change the bed to various different things. Now let Grandpa rest. XX years later. Here we are, working at Joja. Join us. Where are you? Work, work, work. Work, work, work. Here's all the people working at their desks. That guy got terminated. Looks like Woody is one of the employees. That guy's about to fall asleep. And then there's us. Mentally preparing ourselves for the day ahead. Man. How boring. It's time. It's time for us to open the envelope. There it is. Dear Rizu Gaming, you're reading this. You must be in dire need of a change. Same thing happened to me long ago. 
I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and I moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed a deed to that place, my pride and joy, Whiskers Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This is my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck, love, Grandpa. Oh. They got a camera per person, yeah, that's wild. Yes, if Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Sure thing, buddy. Alrighty, let's get out of here. Let's ditch the day job. Stardew Valley, woo! Bus. Fortunately, you can't actually be a bus driver. Feels bad. There we go, Stardew Valley. 0.5 miles away. 30! <laughs> and I love this game. Alrighty, here we go. Here's Robin. Hello, USB, Arizu Gaming. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up your arrival. Nice. Farm's right over there. Right over here, if you'll follow me. Yes, let's follow Robin. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> covered, in, covered in trees and, and rocks and crap. This is Whiskers Farm. Oh my god. Stuff to do. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. I'm sure. A conspicuous little cabin there. And here we are, your new home. It's Lewis. He was snooping. Snooping as usual. Um, ah, the new farmer. I'm not going to do voices for everyone. I'm just going to do the grandpa. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. It is a big deal. I'm a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rustic. Rustic. And got a little beach behind it. Rustic? That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a bit more apt though. <laughs> wah, wah. Rude. Don't listen to her, Arisa Gaming, but she's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Good idea. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. It's actually funny, because the game starts on spring one, but we're sleeping overnight. So shouldn't this be the last day of winter at the moment? I guess I'm just overthinking it. Yes, we'll explore the town a bit and introduce ourselves to everyone. The townspeople will appreciate that. Goodbye, Lewis. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come during the night to collect it. Yes, pro tip, that's not a place to just store all of your stuff. That's where you go to sell all of your stuff. <laughs> well, good luck. Thanks, Lewis. Thanks, Robin. Right, let us... Let us get our friend join us. Right, so... Uh, invite. So first of all, let's invite them. Yep, there we go. The invite has begun. This does not pause in multiplayer. And now, now I'm going to give them a little cool. Bring, bring. Hello. How are, Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I can hear you. Try, try that again. Uh, can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you now. Welcome, welcome. Have you? Have, I've invited you to the farm. Oh, great! Um, it's just loading, so okay. hopefully yeah, I'll fine. be in it in a mo. No worries. I'll just get. I'll just get started. The beach farm looks awesome. 
got my parsnip seeds. I've never played Beach Farm before, so this would be good. Yeah, it's pretty cool. The main quirk is that sprinklers don't work, uh, but there's a lot of opportunities to do other stuff just on the farm in general. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm going to start by swiping all this grass, because it doesn't take any energy. Yeah, because we have a little energy bar down here, and that determines how many things we can do, like stuff like chopping trees, um, mining stone, that'll take the energy. But scything the grass does not, and you can actually find some seeds in this bit. So we'll get started on that. Here we got a little bit over here with the butterflies. Might as well clear this front area. I like the sounds in this game a lot. It's uh, pretty dinky on little sound effects. Let me know if it's uh, too loud or too quiet. It's more that it's not letting me get to the menu. It's gone really glitchy. So, oh, right. um, try and I might you again? pop out and then, yeah, if I come out, are you okay to re-invite me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me know when you want me to re-invite you. Thank you. Uh, try that again for me. Okay. What was, it, what was going on with it? Oh, well, it was... I clicked accept, and then it kind of took me on the menu screen, but then it moving around. Oh. So it wouldn't actually let me click to join the farm. It keeps moving it elsewhere, which is really strange. It's weird. I can come and have a look quickly. Let's see if it does it again. I'm just gonna try and get back in it. Fingers crossed. It's thinking about it. Ah, Whiskers Farm. Great name. Oh, okay, you can see it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm going to be doing on Wednesday? Unnamed farmhand has joined. I presume you're you're picking your name and customising uh, yourself. Yeah, I, I might be um, a few moments. Yeah, 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 no worries. I'll, uh, I'll get a little space clear for us. Yeah, 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 go for it. Le Leofar is not used to me having a conversation on stream. Well, that's surprising. I'm usually having a conversation with all of you guys. Now I'm having a conversation with someone else. Hi, everybody. <laughs> yes, I'll tell you what. Um, like DJ Cookies here actually has more hours in the game than I do. To be honest, that doesn't actually mean I'm more of a skilled player or anything, because it's more just I like to go around and talk to the different people in the game, so... I don't know, you got you got to like year four, you had a lot of stuff in your phone. Yeah, sort of. Let's try that then and see. Right, yeah, because what I'm, what I'm doing at the moment is I'm siding in the grass to try and get the mixed seeds as well, because I can plant these as well as the parsley seeds I start, start with. And the siding doesn't cost any energy, again, so... I'm gonna make sure I'm doing plenty of that. Start with 500. Start with 500 gold. It's telling us to go and grow parsnip. Uh oh, I can hear something. Who's here? Oh, hello! Fancy seeing you here. Hello, it's with DJ Cookies. Oh my god. <laughs> right, let's uh, let's chop down some trees. Man, this takes ages at the start, and we got the the, the worst axe. No forestry skill. I look forward to getting the better axe. I haven't played this in, in a while, so it'll be interesting to see how much I remember. Yeah. Well, me, me neither. I haven't played since they added the tropical island. It would help if I actually hit the tree. Every missed axe swing is reducing my energy. You can see that bar going down on the right hand side. Uh, that reminds me, I'm just going to put the thing on in settings where I can actually see the, um... Oh. See the, the icon where you're going to be hitting? Yeah, like that's the one. Thing. Um, yeah, that's a good idea. Tool hit location when moving. Always show... Wow, it's already midday. Uh, let us make Time sure these when you're having fun. Yeah, let's make sure the plant is parsnips first. So... What I'm gonna do. Did I actually leave myself enough energy to do this? 
I hope so. We're just gonna carve out like two identical parsnip peppers each. Yeah, why not? Great minds think alike. Sounds good. And then I'm gonna make a little bit in the middle here for where we put any mixed seeds. So this one in the middle is for mixed seeds. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we shouldn't have any shortage of water being on the beach. I mean, if we're near the beach, I'm assuming that the farm likes seawater being poured on it? I think it's more that there's soil under the sand and that the tides aren't too bad. Let me move the microphone a bit closer. Hang on. Right, there we go. That's done. Uh, let's make a chest as well. That would be a good idea. Yeah, sea wa seawater and plants. Not the best idea. We don't have any salt water guys here for us to boil. Ah, you made a chest. That was awesome. I might pop here. Right, I'm going to go, right, gonna go buy some more plant, uh, parsnip seeds and plant them too. I think. Oh yeah, Maybe. have we got a shared bank account or are we separate? We, we do. I set it to be a shared bank account because um, I feel like that's how we would run a farm in real life. What are your thoughts on that? Free shopping. <laughs> well, yeah. No, I so think I, it's I good. Can, it makes it easier. Yeah, so I can go buy all the seeds and you, and you don't need to worry about that. I mean, do you want? Do you not want me to buy loads of seeds? No, no, go for it. It's fine. I'm, I said it more as a joke. Okay. I just no. Don't Nothing's water posted the on the shop board. Hello, Leah. It's nice to meet you. Reminds me of waterweed lettuces and oni. Yes, very true. Right. So the parsnips grow very quickly, but they don't give you a great yield. The cauliflowers take longer to grow, but they give you a better yield. So I think I'm gonna buy. I think I'm just gonna buy a row of cauliflower seeds. There we go. Oh, let me actually talk to you as well. That, that way I can cross you off the list. Hey, it's Mr. Arizia Gaming, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local store. If you're looking for seeds? My shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. So you can sell this guy your stuff if you want to make the money, like on the day rather than overnight. Hello, you must be a Reason Gaming, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Oh my god! I've What's just realised you can actually sit on the benches. Oh yeah. Yeah, come down to the Star Drop Saloon and you can actually see me sitting on a bench. Okay, I'm just saying hi to everyone. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> nah, that's alright. Oh my god, you're blending in. <laughs> I know, it's great. <laughs> Let me sit on the bench too. Oh yeah, because then we get four in a row. There we go. <laughs> nice. This is the life. Yes. Very focused uh, gaming experience. There we go. We've already talked to like uh, 10 out of 28 people. That's pretty good. I've already talked to you. I'm going to go back and plant these cauliflowers. Mm -hmm. I'm probably Actually, I'm gonna get stuck. On, I'm gonna get stuck on a rock. That's what I'm gonna do. It's a race. Run away! We can't actually collide with each other. Right. So the cauliflowers, I'm just gonna plant underneath my parsnips. I'm running out of energy. Yeah, mine's getting a bit low as well. Might have to get an early night. You're right. I've got 14 energy left. Each watering takes two energy. So it should be fine. There we go. Right, so you've made the chest. I'm just going to store all this crap in, in your chest if you don't mind. Yeah, no problems. There we go. Um, I'm gonna go side some more grass to try and get more mixed seeds. Or uh so do we have to go the long way round just to get to the How do we get to our greenhouse? Uh you just go left. 
from your cabin, I think. Oh, like little stepping stones. I see. Okay. Oh, hold on. Let me have a look. So you have to go along these these be sandy stepping stones here because it's surrounded by water. Ah, yes. Did you know you can actually also move the uh, greenhouse once you uh, go to Robin? You can get her to move it for you if you want. Oh, no, I didn't actually. Although, to be fair, it seems perfectly placed there. Yeah. I feel a bit bad moving it. Oh, yeah, okay. I better go to bed now. I could do two more waters, I think. Oh, boo! No! <laughs> no! I overexhausted myself. Nice. Now look, you're going to have to pace yourself carefully. Alright, I'm going to sleep in here. Good night, darling. <laughs> Good night. Sleepies wellies. <laughs> oh no, I only woke up with half my energy because <laughs> I was exhausted. Well, there you go. That's what you should do. I will go and get you a snack. <laughs> nah, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Willie's wanting plants, to meet though. us. Yes, Willie the farmer. Yes, good job, Matt. Water the sand. I'll go do some foraging. That doesn't take any energy. There we go. Uh, what's in here? Yeah, it's Willy. Ooh. Here we go. Yeah, I'm gonna see what forageables there are on the beach. Because the game said there were more foraging opportunities here than usual, so maybe there's a special zone for it. Ah, there's something. Found some yeah, clay. My inventory's full. Okay, I'll have to go back, dump my stuff, and then go meet Willy. So this is how you get out of the beach farm to the to the south. Have this. you just gone through the town as the normal route, or have you gone the other way? No, I'm just wandering around the beach at the moment, trying to see what I can find. Oh, okay. I'm not even down there yet. Because apparently there should be some foraging zones. Oh, okay. I don't know where to find them. Ah, there's a little patch of regular soil that you can put sprinklers on. Yeah, this That's is what this is. sort of handy. Yeah, so when we get the sprinklers, we'll need to concentrate them here. And then the rest of the space in the farm will be for sort of non- farming, I imagine. I think it probably makes sense to go really heavily into animals on this farm. Yeah, I suppose we could. They do well, look you... quite cute. Well, you know me. I'm going to I'm gonna put a load of fish ponds everywhere. I'm going to have some kind of industrial fish breeding operation going on. I am wondering how many days it will take you to set up a fish tank. I'm gonna get it set up. I'm gonna get it set up on Wednesday. Oh, we need to get money. I just spent all the money on cauliflower seeds. It's like five hundred. Uh, it's like five hundred gold. How much all this fiber would sell for? Actually, let's just check the crafting. Campfire. I don't need a campfire. Yeah. Do you mind if I just sell all this fiber for some extra cash? No, go for it. I'm not particularly attached to fiber. Thanks. I don't know how much it sells for, but I've got a lot of it. I'm doing some fishing just to uh, try and do yeah, some food I, options. Yeah, i got to go collect the, uh, the rod as well. Again, filling your watering can with uh, seawater is a bit questionable. There you go. Oh, actually, before I go, let's plant these mixed seeds. Well, I'll tell you what, it looks like five out of those six mixed seeds from earlier were parsnips. 
Not quite sure how that ended up happening. <laughs> Paku farm, yes. Bring on the Paku. Alright, let me actually go get all the fiber and sell that. Was indecisive now, not so sure. I think we'll want to keep everything else for craft. Uh, this one's a bit of a slippery one. Ooh, no, 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 no. Are you fishing on the beach? Yeah, and this one's a... Uh, I've lost it. No. It does make me wonder what fish that was. Because normally they're quite easy to catch at the start of the game. You hate fishing in this game? <laughs> yeah. It's uh it's quite it's quite challenging. There is actually a training rod that you can buy. Um, which is a lot easier, but it only lets you catch the basic fish. Right, let's go sell this fiber. I feel like I could sell this stuff here. Yeah. What's this? Evelyn would hire someone to fetch daffodil. 90, 90 gold of delivery. Yes, let's accept that quest. I have a daffodil. Does it have to be a particular, like, grade? Uh, I don't think so. Right, are you on the beach? I'm going to come to the beach and meet you. Yeah, you I'm on the me, beach. Oh, I got it. You can it. give me this daffodil. What is that much work just for a sardine? Okay, it's a silver sardine, but it's still a sardine. <laughs> Las Sardinas. Las Sardinas. I'm just going to do the cutscene with Billy. Ah, yeah, okay. Does Willy buy the fish? Ahoy there, son. He does buy the fish. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. I just saw you walking into the fish shop during the cutscene. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. <laughs> He's You're multitasking. Talking... Yeah, he is. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind for a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I, I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough for to buy me a new rod. Here, I want you to have my old fishing. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. It's certainly possible. Uh, achievement get. You received a bamboo pole. Eat. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now. So come by if you need any supplies. Yeah, I, I figured your shop was open. I'll also buy the king catch. If it smells, it sells. Hehe. <laughs> That's what my old papi used to say anyway. Alrighty. Yeah, I'll do a little bit of fishing just to show it's done. Willie will buy the five. Fiber. If not, I'll just sell it in the bin. Just wait until you get a hit and then you have to click it. I've just got a four inch sardine. Yeah, I think I think the first fish is quite an easy one. And then and then some of them get harder. But each fish behaves in a different way. Yeah, there we go, there's a sardine. Try again. Ooh, you're fishing in the sparkle. Mm -hmm. Let me know if you find anything good. Well, I got a herring just now. Ooh, yeah, save that. That's a different fish than usual. I'm going to come back here tomorrow and fish. Because different fish show up at different, uh, in, on different circumstances. Oh, now Willie's having a fish. Oh, right, it's it's five, so he's done with, uh, he's done with, um, the shop now. Okay, never mind. Do you want that daffodil? Yes. Can you give it to me, please? Um, now how do I do this? You have to right-click me. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Yay, thank you. You want a fish? Welcome. Uh, Here you go, have my yeah, sardine. Yeah, go on then. I might just sell it to Willy. That's fine. Is that okay. Did, did you already? <laughs> well, I mean, you can't sell it to him now. He's he's closed Aww. shop. You can put it in the bin. Honestly, I'm not putting it in the bin. That's no, money I towards mean, the fish no, bank. No, I mean the the, the the storage bin, the shipping bin. 
with Dafty. Uh, yeah, okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, um, right, I'm gonna go find Evelyn. There you are in the kitchen. Here's your daffodil. Oh, is that the daffodil I requested? Thanks so much. Here's what I owe you. There's some money. I haven't met you yet either. I can call oh you Granny. Oh my god, you can sit at his table! Hold on, where Sorry, are you? Sorry, Matt. Um, so I'm in Lewis's house and I went to talk to him and he was standing by his fridge and I kind of right clicked to talk to him and then I sat at his table. Are you literally jumping it out of the chairs? I swear you didn't used to be able to do this. Yep, you can. I, I, they add a lot of stuff to this game. I think it's mostly finished now, though. Pro tip, exit the right side of the chair. I think it's actually a lot of glitches that involve um, clicking, the, um, clicking the chairs, using them to get to places that you uh, can't normally get to. Oh, okay. Right. I think if I sell this fiber, that should be enough gold to buy the fish tank tomorrow. But yeah, we can't pause it because we're doing multiplayer. Um, so we are... The constraint on how much we can do in a day is is literally just um is literally just like how much we can actually fit in the day, which I quite like. Let's see, I'll keep the regular stuff here. Any machine. I don't think I want to sell anything in here. Let's use up the rest of my energy, but not actually overexert myself today. That would that would be a really good idea to not, like, immediately fuck up on the first day. That's uh, easily done. <laughs> I didn't realise that as soon as... I thought there was a little bit of leeway before you got to zero, before you uh, got the penalty for the next day. I mean, the, g the game does give you a fair amount of warnings. But well... I don't know how far you want these trees and things chopped down. Well, you'll get some seeds eventually, and we can just grow some more and we can decide where to grow them. So we might as well chop them down and just use all the wood. Yeah. So if you have any energy left, just use it to chop trees or mine up stones or whatever. Yeah. But don't go so to zero. I think zero. this would be really good to... Well, yeah. I just think it would be good to clear the space out a bit. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. Do I have enough time to go on another tree? <laughs> I stole your geode, huh? Hey, that's not very nice. Let me go put all this stuff away. I'll sell the uh, fiber again. I don't think we really need the fiber. Let's see how much it sells for. I'm gonna go to sleep. Okay, I'll jump in in a sec. It's gonna rain tomorrow. It always rains on the first Wednesday. No having to mess around with the watering can. Yeah, look, I've already got into bed. How come I'm waiting for you? <laughs> um, have you actually gotten into bed? Yeah, it literally says waiting for other players. Oh, uh, that's not good. Let me try again. No, I'm getting the same thing. It's not working. Get out of bed and try again. You've left the oh, game. Oh, the server's lost connection. It's thrown me out. No. Oh, okay. I've uh, gone to sleep. Okay, can you invite me back in when you wake up? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I'm on the menu right now, so I'll invite you now. He um... threw you out too? No, I'm I'm on the into day menu because I shipped some stuff. Oh. So now I can uh Yeah, now I can invite you. Surprised it's disconnected you. Fix that. I know, so am I. That's that's a bit of a shocker. It's not letting you click it. 
I've, I've literally accepted the invitation to play, so hopefully it will just open up and let me back in. Okay. And that I don't have to redesign my character all over again. No, no you'll be able to, you'll be, yeah, you'll be able to jump back in. Yeah, there you go. So it's raining today, so you don't have to turn. Nice. Um, I've got a geode. I'm going to mine up the rest of these rocks and see if I can find any more geodes. And I'm going to go talk to Clint. And then I'm going to go buy the fish tank. <laughs> Do a load of fishing. Uh, I need to put stuff in the wooden trunk. So, what should we save up for first once we've got the fish tank? Should we, um, we save up for the backpack upgrades? Yeah, I think so. That'll make our lives a lot easier going forward. Hmm. Yeah, because at the moment we're kind of running out of space to store stuff. Yeah, do you want me to build a second chest? I think I've got enough wood to. I think we've got enough chest storage for now. The issue is when you're running around and you're trying to grab things. Yeah, we're going to get this cleared up pretty quickly. It's a nice thing when it's kind of you've got two players. It makes it a lot easier to just clear areas out. That is true. That is very true. Let me help with this. <laughs> Damn nature, get out of here. <laughs> How dare it get in the way. <laughs> yep, we're going to we're going to pave over this whole beach and make it a Jojo Cola factory. <laughs> right, I'm gonna save some energy for fishing. I'm gonna go process these geodes. The fiber was not worth very much, so I'm just gonna store it in case we need it. But yes, when it's raining, um, I don't know exactly what the conditions are for when you can find eels, but I think it has to be raining, it has to be on the beach, and I think it might have to be night time. So this does seem like the day to just try and grab a load of eels. And rummaging all the trash bins. Ah, oh, there's a death bill. So what are you up to at the moment? Well, I thought I'd try and scythe some of the grass further down and see kind of where it leads because I've never been on this map before and yeah. it's not really got me anywhere. I already cleared a lot of it. Hmm. What's in the trash? Just loop round and say hello to Marnie. I think that's her name, isn't it? Yeah. Right, uh, I'm just going to get you to do two, because I want to buy this fish can too. Fish tank. Copper ore. I found petrified slime. Alright, that's something I can bring to the uh, library. Gunther could tell you more about this petrified slime if you donate it to the museum. Alright, this is Gunther. Abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. He's excited. What's this? You found something? Let me see it. Remarkable. It's full of slime lung germs. I now have slime lung and I'm going to die. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it is yours. Hmm. I've got a favour to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? We could make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows, if you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. Pretty much. He gives you a load of, like, unique decorations. 
think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. Already, here you go. Donate to museum. So now I get to pick where this goes. I don't think we can. Act I think we can rearrange this later. We're just gonna pick. There we go. Doesn't seem like you have anything to donate. Better get out there and do some more treasure hunting, huh? I just gave Sophie. How rude. He's so pushy. <laughs> Yes, he's not like a real character in that you can develop a friendship with him. He just runs the museum. Use fertilizer to improve quality. Fruit trees take a whole season to grow, but they require very little maintenance. Crops will die as soon as the season ends, unless they grow for multiple seasons, like before. Some crops, such as kale and wheat, need to be harvested at the site. Right, let's, uh... Oh, he gives you some money for the for donating the first artifact. That's nice. Actually, in that case, he, I just sold a fish for forty quid. Yeah, no, he gives you two hundred fifty quid when you donate the first thing. Nice. You just have to... Can go towards the fish tank fund. Yeah, yeah. I found a stone. Lovely. Thanks, Clint. Right, now I need to go to Willy's shop and buy the fish tank before it shuts. Sounds like we have an intruder. Are you, trying to are you trying to catch an eel? Well, I thought I might, but to be honest, I just thought I'd sell fish to help boost the funds a bit. Fair enough. I can buy the fish. <laughs> I could buy them back. That's funny. Oh, the circle of life. You can buy a trout soup. You can buy a trout soup that gives you extra fishing skill temporarily. You know when you buy the fish back, do you buy them back more than what I sell them for? Uh, I don't know. I think I think it's the same price. If it's a, if it's the same day, I think it goes up after that. Right, let's do some fish. <laughs> I'm not sure when they come out at night time, though. But they're very slippery, so you'll know if you've got an eel. Ah. Uh, I was trying to get the chest. I had a chest of beer on the toolbar, and it was so far away from the fish, I then lost the fish in the process and lost both. Ah, uh, that does happen sometimes. This one does not seem to be fighting back. Sardine. You know what, I'm going to sell this to Willy before he shuts. No! Oh, I have a herring that's a gold star. Hey, Willy, fancy some clay? I should have gifted clay. <laughs> My backpack's full. Nobody likes clay. You can just trash stuff if you don't want it. Yeah, I might do that. Clay is valuable. You use it for stuff later on. Ah, here's the eel. Gear is clicking. Yay, 20 inch eel. That's not very big. Three. Honk. You want to hold out for a bigger one to go in the tank? Yeah, I'm going to get a bigger one. Twiskers! A long, slippery little fish. This is boring as real fish. Just eat the fish. Yeah, um, my energy levels are really low. I think I'm going to have to go back. Ooh, I found a flounder. Ooh, very nice. It's a bit different. I'm gonna so eat far, the I haven't caught anything I'm going to eat the sardine yet. too. Cover some energy. Oh, anchovy. It's not yeah. quite as exciting, though. Put it on a pizza. 
Mm, that would be one stinky pizza. Fancy, fancy a uh, eel pizza? Not really. Actually, there's a really good. Oh, I found a seaweed. Lovely. Right, I think that I think the the little uh, eel might have to do. Actually, I can eat the seaweed. We should get back by about eleven. Mm -hmm. Want to find a better eel? I just want to find something here, else. Here's one. Oh, hello. Okay, this one's a bit more wriggly. Yeah, I think you've got one too. There we go. 45 inch eel. Yummy. Right, okay. No, 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 no. There we go. We I a got a halibut. Nice. I think it's not good for me. Mm hmm. I'm going to get caught in the scenery. Again. There is something really good about the sea air, though. Um, well, I mean, we can say that because we just went to the beach on holiday. <laughs> we found lots of fish on the beach on holiday as well, which was nice. Because it's the first time I've actually found fish at a beach in real life. You know, apart from when I went to Australia and we actually went fishing. Right. Um, where am I going to put this fish? I'm going to put it in the main house. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to move... Oh, right. I'm going to move the tree here. Fish tank will go here. And then... Whiskers! <laughs> whiskers! Whiskers is in the tank. <laughs> Priorities. <laughs> The, the Do I have enough to finish that job? Probably not. Let's just go to bed. You want an eel? It's all noodly. Here you go. I'm offering you an eel. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna store the rest of the stuff actually. Yeah, you got some good fish actually. Hey, it was all right. Thing oh, is, they're I'm not gonna, exactly the most I'm exotic I'm going to use the rest of my energy. Thought. I'm going to chop down some trees. Just don't exhaust yourself. I won't. I just know we're going to need the wood someday. Mm -hmm. Tree on my head. Ah! Was that intentional? It's an obstacle course. Right, that's good enough. That's good enough. All right, all right, yeah, yeah. I'm tired. Okay. Don't mind me. I might come over for a sleepover. <laughs> These wellies. Easy, easy. All right, hey, we level got level one, one foraging, level one fishing. Good. Ah, I'm talking to Clint. Uh, hi there, good morning. I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. That's good. If you want to get the most out of your ores you find, you'll need a furnace. It just so happens I had an extra set of blueprints lying around. Here, I want you to have them. Blueprint! Learn how to craft a furnace. The furnace allows you to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. Yes. Tool upgrades. When you've smelted a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make your work a lot easier. Well, okay, I'm heading home. Make it easy. Nice. Right, let's see. Hooray, I finally got a geode. Craft a furnace. Let's do that. So we need 20 copper ore and 25 stone. Right. Well, we have one copper ore, but it's not going to happen yet. I'll dig up some more stones, maybe that'll help. Oh, we need to water the plants. 
Ah, uh, yeah, sorry. That sorry, was me going, that. getting carried away. Anyone know why my crops are not growing in Sims 4? Sorry, this doesn't have anything to do with the stream. I haven't actually played... Actually, I played like a couple of hours of The Sims 4 because it was free, but I never grew any crops in that game. There we go. I'm going to get my geode, um, get the geode open. Yeah, go for it. I'm going to keep trying to find more uh, ore. I don't think, actually, I don't think I'm going to get a uh, furnace going today. Because you find most of the ore in the mines. Unless you have the mountain farm where you start with a load of, like, ore rocks. I think that'd probably be quite challenging. Well, it looks like it breathes at about half the people. Ah, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, did you keep that flounder? Yeah, I put it in the I put it in the chest. Jane's wanting one for his casserole, and he's willing to Ooh. pay us three hundred quid. Who? Shane. Shane. All right, let's go give Shane this flounder then. Should I accept the quest or you? Uh, I'll accept it. Okay, I'll leave it up on the board for you. Thank you. No problemo. If for some reason it shows a different quest, let me know and I'll come back for it. Oh, that would be interesting if we both got different quests. Mm. No, I've got the same quest. Yeah, 300 gold. That's pretty good. Say hi to uh, Chris's geode. Can I go say hi to the doctor? I can go say hi to the doctor. Hello, pleasure to meet you. I'm Some... Harvey. Don't mind me just breaking into a medical facility. Say hi, right? So, Shane will give me 300. What will uh, yeah, give me? Oh, oh right, I'd have to sell it to Willy, wouldn't I? Look at this bag. What's in this box? Not like anything. Oh, there's Haley. I think I've said hi to Haley yet. Hello. Yeah, I'll just stop by the saloon later and find Shane. He's usually drinking in there. I found a trilobite. A what? A trilobite. It's an artifact. I'll give it to Gunther. Yeah, how much will you buy that? The flounder for? So Willie's only going to buy it for 125. So yeah, definitely give it to Shane. Have you got it in your thing? And Yeah, I've got the flounder. I'm just trying to remember what Shane's routine is. Oh, if you've got a load of wood, uh, feel free to bring it over to this part of the uh, beach so we can access the forage area. Um, just this like, part of the beach? You mean near right, Elliot's place? Yeah, right of El Elliot's place. You can bring all the wood there. I think it needs 300 wood. Uh, yeah, I've only got 145 on me. Might uh, loop around there's and see wood. if I can finish that off. Yeah, there's more wood in the, in the place, in the chest. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'll loop back around and do that. I'll put away the copper ore as well. Yeah, okay, I have a trailer bike. I'm gonna head over to the forest and have a look around there for stuff. 
I found I found a pine cone in uh in the trash. Did you accept the quest for the flounder? Yeah, I did. Oh, so we can both do the same quest if we want. Well, I think it just counts for both of us. Like, if one of us does it, it gets accepted for the other. Oh, I see. Because I've gone back to it and it's still looking as if it's um, it's available to take. Mm. Oh, I wonder when the travelling uh, car is around. Not like it's today. Yeah, I'm going to go store some of this stuff, and then I'm going to go back to town and try and find Shane. Mm-hmm. Your sims are so lazy you taught them a teleport spell, and they use it to do everything, even if it's a few steps away. Nice. That sounds... that sounds realistic. This game look, looks relaxing. It is relaxing. Really relaxing game. Reminds me of Animal Crossing. Yeah, a little bit. There is a load of content though. It probably would take you about a hundred hours to do everything. If you just play Does that game factor normally. in the new editions, though? I don't know, actually. Like, there's loads of stuff. They've really, like, it starts off really simple, but there is, like, there's stuff to do once you're earning, like, millions of gold as well. So, yeah. It's That's before impressive. you think about the desert. Oh, yeah, and the Skull Cavern and everything. Yeah, it's, it's wild. Right, I'm going to say hi to everyone in the pub. Hello. Hello. Yes, I know you work in the sleep. Right, here's our man, Shane. Hello. He wants us to leave him alone. But we have the flounder. Here you go, have a flounder. Hello, Arezia Gaming. Is that the flounder I requested? Thanks so much. Now, this is one of the rare occasions where we'll see Shane actually happy. So there you go. Here's a little something for your trouble. Nice. That's enough money for another fish tank. <laughs> Are we going to have one in each house with a different fish? Mm, maybe. No, uh, no, it's not worth it. We might as well <laughs> save up. We might as well save up for the big fish tank. That makes mm -hmm. more sense. Need 300 wood, don't I? Let me uh, see what I've got in the chest. Right, I think I'm just going to go around the forest and collect some more forage, and maybe do some more scything of the grass. I'm going to build the plank along the, um, near Elliot's house. Sounds good. If it lets me, because now it's on me saying it's loading. You're getting kicked out again. I think so, yeah. It just, uh, I've, I literally left the um, the farm place to kind of walk past the bus bit, and it just says loading. The server's closed the connection again. Damn. I'm not having much luck, am I? I don't think it's your fault. It just sounds like your computer is being annoying. Rejoin Whiskers Farm, there we go. Oh good, at least, at least it lets me let myself back in. Although... Oh yeah, I'm still on the same day, that's good. Yeah, because I'm hosting, the farm should be consistent. Unless I crash. I've got a load of energy, I should come back and chop some more trees. There's a horse ranch. Oh yeah, there'll, there'll be the spring onions down here, won't they? 
Forget about that. I don't think they're here yet, though. Which is fixed. Nice. All right, I'll go check that out tomorrow. So it's Lewis's birthday on the Sunday. Do we remember what Lewis likes? I've got no idea. To be honest, with all this, I ended Does up cheating like and sardines? looking it up on the wiki. <laughs> Not mm. that convinced he does. I've got some coral mm. and a daffodil. Daffodils are normally a relatively safe bet. Everyone likes sweets? Try that. See, that's the thing. Some people don't like sweets. Like, uh, each person has their own tastes. And there's some things that everyone likes, but a lot of people have exceptions to those things. Hmm, right, I'm gonna chop some more. Farming is in the Sims season, uh, Seasons pack. I like the Sims. I'm getting tired. What's the threshold yeah, okay, again? I go to bed. It's it's two p.m. It's two a.m. Isn't it? Uh, I think so. But to be honest, I'm not risking it. Yeah, let's not find out. Although, not going to lie, that mention of sweets earlier has now got me thinking about that fish food ice cream we've got in the freezer. True. In potion craft, I just realized I can use salts for getting to places instead of just rotating when I get to effect. Yeah, salts are really powerful. But obviously they're, they're quite limited, so you don't want to make a repeat recipe with salts, but it can be really helpful. It can be really helpful. If you're limited in other ingredients. Just use the salt to rotate and then turn use that to go somewhere else. It's the cat! I got the cat. You got the cat! Hello, Arizu Gaming. You see this cat here? That is indeed a cat. I found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. I think it's a stray, poor little thing. Looks like our parsnips are done as well. I think it likes this place. Hey, um, don't you think this farm could use a good cat? Will you adopt this cat? Yes. <laughs> okay, we're going to choose a name for the cat. The random names are really funny in this game. Dudley, Itover, Rinny, Fonnell, Fritos, Jarty, Broly. <laughs> Broly! <laughs> what should we name the cat? All right, chat. This is a, this is a rename uh, redeem moment. If you have the channel points. Whiskers food. I like it. <laughs> Brudo. Chosel. Pretert. Snuzzle. Brongus. Now that's a good name. Hold on. Right. You have like you have like 30 seconds to redeem channel points, or I'm naming it Prongus. Darling, do you have any objections to uh, Prongus the cat? No, I think it, just anything for fun is worth it. Kind of cute as well. What type of cat have we got? Is it a ginger one or a grey one? Or... Yeah, it looks like a ginger cat. Alright. I think Prongus Ooh, is the name we're going to go for. There we go. Very well. Well, little Prongus, you be a good little kitty now, okay? He is very good. Alrighty. Uh, do you want to pick the, the plants? If one person picks yeah, all the plants, just... they'll get the farming skill fastest and they'll get worth more. 
So I'll let you do all the picking if you want. Oh, I'm just looking at um oh what what's his name wants for his birthday? Lewis. Yeah. All universal loves, okay. There's a lot of stuff we don't quite have yet. Scouring the wiki. Like a, like daffodils a are neutral. How come daffodils are neutral for him, honestly? It's very particular, this man. Yeah, he's just going to have to deal with the universal love and be done with... Well, what, actually, we can't a, even do that. Okay, you're going to give him a prismatic beautiful. shard, then? Did you find one of those in your, in your back garden? Lol. Or a golden pumpkin, more like. Yeah, I think we'll have to wait until Halloween to get the golden pumpkin. I don't want to ignore his birthday, but then... I'm also not quite sure how all these trees end up growing on the sand, but there you go. I love the popping noise this makes when you pick up props. Oh yeah, the sound design in this game is great. Did you just want me to sell these? Sell what? The parsnips. Uh, yeah, I'd sell any basic quality. Uh, actually, you know what? Leave leave about 10, sell the rest. Because we're going to start doing the community centre soon. I can't remember exactly what we need for that. So, save a few of them. Because we might need them. Do you want the silver parsnip as well? Uh... I don't really oh, I'll shove it in the chest. There we go. Wood. Wood for the wood god. Right, looks like we We've have a few seeds. mixed seeds. I'm just going to plant these over here. Uh, I'm going to go buy some seeds. Have fun. What do you want me to buy? Do you want me to buy... Uh, Cheap crops that grow quickly, or expensive crops that grow, or sl uh, that grow more slowly but give you better end yield. I oh, don't hold really on. mind. I've got there. the cutscene. The community yeah, so have I. Oh, hi there. Dot dot dot. What an eyesore. You said it. Ooh, there's a load of fiber there too. This is the Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it, anyway. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. Now, just look at it, it's shameful. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. What a shame. But listen to me, I sound like an old fool. Jojo Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Boo. Boo, Jojo. Elegant Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old timers like me get attached to relics of the past. Ah, oh, well. If anyone else buys a Jojo Co. membership, I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. You can actually buy a Jojo Co. Uh, membership from the Jojo Mart in town and then, and then bypass this whole quest. It's ridiculous. You get achievement for it, too. Let's go inside. <laughs> That's right. Hmm, what's this? I guess Vincent and Jazz must have been playing in there. Little hut. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. It's a Junimo. What? What's the matter? Are you ill? <laughs> Lewis. <laughs> Didn't you see a giant green marshmallow? You saw something? Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if this place is full of rats. It's another green marshmallow.
You're worrying me, Arizu Gaming. Look, I think I'm gonna head home. I need some lunch. Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you can help catch that rat if you have some extra time. Strange. I'll have to come back and explore this building further. I'm going to do that right now. Big old fish tank here that's all algied up. Bulletin board that no one's using. Stove. It's got a big safe. So this is the main quest of the game, is to renovate this place by doing uh, quests. Some rooms back here. It's a little marshmallow. That's all this then. It's a, it's a coded message. Well then, I don't know what that means. Get out of here. Let's go grab all this fiber. Nice. Right, so what else are we going to do today? Oh, I need... Have you uh, harvested the parsnip? Uh, yeah, you have done that, yeah. haven't you? Did you unlock the quest for doing that? What quest for doing that? Like, if you click the exclamation mark to the top right, did you achieve that objective? Um, yeah, I think I did, because then I got 100 quid. Right, so if I do the same thing, then I'll get 100 quid as well. It was like a farming basic thing. I can't yeah. remember what it actually said. Oh, seeds. I forgot to buy seeds. No, is the shop the shop shut, isn't it? Typical. Uh, okay. Yeah, it'll be shut by now. Oh well, I'll buy some more seeds tomorrow. <laughs> In fact, let's actually sell a load of stuff so that we have money for uh, things. Hmm. Oh, I should go down to the beach and forage down there now you built that bridge. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna come back. I'll be I'll be a bit late. That's okay. I'm kind of in town as well. I might make my way down that way. I'm Hello Neo sir. Fish. Yeah, yeah, we're uh, doing the uh, multiplayer spelunky today. Yeah, that's uh that's what's happening. <laughs> How you doing, Neo sir? I'm playing Stardew Valley with uh, the lovely McDJ Cookies. Right, so now that you've repaired this bridge, I can come over here and... Oh, you've already grabbed all the stuff from over here, haven't you? Oh, but I did that yesterday. Oh, that's it should fine. have replenished. There is a sea urchin. It doesn't replenish too often, to be honest. I'm going to do a little bit of fishing and then I'm going to come back. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good, thanks. Yeah, to be honest, me and partner have both played Stardew Valley a lot off stream. And we wanted to try it out, um, we wanted to try it out together and do a multiplayer run. Because we've both done the single player up to, like, before the, um, we haven't got to the tropical island yet, but we've done everything else. Found a coke. Nice. You fishing here too? Yep. Nice. Right, this is Where the, are you? Uh, well, I, I, I'm on the far pier, but I didn't find anything, I just found trash. I got two fish and then a bit of trash. I'll throw the trash away. I'm going to keep the can just because I know that Sam likes it as a gift. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my God, I'm... yeah, we could sell the sea urchin. 
Ooh, it's really dark now. It's scary. And I've got a guy chasing me in the dark. <laughs> oh no. What a stalker. Run. Yeah, Spelunky. I am actually going to pick that up fairly soon, and I'll have to figure out when to fit that into the schedule. Because it does look like a lot of fun, and I'm eager to learn. No, no, no! Don't sh don't shave that grass yet. You don't get anything from it. You want to have okay. a um, you want to have a silo, and then you'll get hay from the grass. That's why it wasn't giving me anything. I was trying to remember that. Yeah, yeah. You need to build the silo first. Right, let's figure out what to sell. I've got a leak. A silver leak. Do you want me to sell that? Uh, yeah. I'm going to sell the coral. I'm going to sell, like, the sea forage things. Yeah. I think that makes sense. I might sell the silver herring. Oh, I do have space. I've got gold herring. But... I don't know the if you want to is, hold on to the better herring or not. Yeah, the thing is, until we do the um, until we actually do the quest, we don't know what we're going to need. Also, I need to get I'll get to rid of one of them, because we actually now have two. Yeah, let's get to bed. The threshold is 2am, 2 2, uh, by the way. Mm -hmm. There we go. Wow, big bucks. So that's enough for one of us to get the back, the backpack upgrade. Should we do that or should we do something else? I think it's probably a worthwhile investment for both of us. The question is, do you want the backpack first or shall I? Yeah, you can grab it first. I'll, I'll persevere. Okay. Kitty! Go pet the cat. No, I think he likes me. So you're definitely sure you're happy for me to get the backpack first? Yeah, go for it. Okay. I know you, there's a lot of stones scattered around your farm. If you have a surplus, you may, might consider having me build a well for you. We don't need a well. We have plenty of water on this farm. My sources tell me you've been poking around inside the old community center. Why don't you pay me a visit? My chambers are west of the forest lake. I might have information concerning your rat problem. Right, I'm gonna go sort out. I'm gonna go talk to the wizard. Um. Oh, wait. You can go talk to the wizard. Hold on. We need to buy seeds first before you buy the backpack. We need to buy more seeds. That's I'm fine. The shop's shut at the moment, so. Yeah, I'm gonna host some extra ground, and I don't mind what you get. But I'll just host some extra ground so that you uh plenty of room. Because remember the cheaper the cheaper plants, like you'll get a return on them faster, but you have to spend more energy watering them. Yeah. Um so it's pros and cons. Mm. Right, so I'm gonna trust you with the two thousand gold. Just buy seeds today, and then we'll mm -hmm. do the backpack in future. Okay. I'm gonna go talk to the wizard. I want to show everyone the wizardy cutscenes. Have you had also, a message? Yeah, I got I got a letter from him in the mail with his fancy uh, fancy paper. Oh, sorry. It's all right. Also, actually, I am just going to take the moment to show everyone uh, something in real life. Hold on, give me a sec. So I uh, not only do I have the puff plush. I have, I have something else. I have, I have a little green, green apple, marshmallow dude. You know that. There we go. It's a Junimo. It's, it's the little guy that was wandering around the community center. It's a, it's a big apple, yes, exactly. 
Looks evil. <laughs> oh, hold on. Uh, my game crashed. No. Well, that's fun. Uh, are you still playing? Yeah, I'm still in here. Okay, let me re let me uh join your game. Although, if you end up back at the farm, if you could please grab an anchovy for me and hand it over, that would be helpful if you bump grab into me in town, anchovy. although I think you're going the other way. Ugh. I think you're going the other way, though. Right, join land game. No, that's not it. Can you invite me back in? Uh, the server's throwing me out. Okay, uh, I'll try hosting them. Sorry. No, uh, it's fine. I... I think that I may have reset. Yeah, let's reset the day. Yeah, right. Let me uh, invite you back in. Thank you. Right. Note to self: don't uh, don't exit the game to show people the Junimo. <laughs> right. Um, Did that work? It won't let me. No. Hang on. Let me try this another way. Okay. I'll just do all this again. Are you luck? Yeah, I've got it now. Okay. It's just loading me back in. Yeah, so I've watered the plants and I've dug out that space for you. So just buy whatever seeds you want. There's... There's about 45 about like uh, just about 50 you might want to get about 50 seeds so i think i think if you're going to fill all that space it probably is going to be parsnips okay it's um just throwing me out again so i'll try and rejoin oh there you go it there says we you go now. oh <laughs> i thought that was the way out of here it was not it was just an empty uh pier Let's go say hi to the wizard. Sardine, herring, herring, halibut, anchovy. Ugh. Do you mind if I get rid of our one gold star anchovy? Because I think it's a mission to get 90, 90 yeah, quid. Yeah, go for it. Please do the missions whenever they're available because it's a good source of money. Thank you. All right, there's the wizard's town. Let's go have a look. All right, here he is, the man himself, otherwise known as Wizard. Ah, come in. Purple hat. I am Rosmodius, seeker of the arcane truths. Mediary between physical and ethereal. Master of the seven elementals. Keeper of the sacred, you get the point. And you, Arisa Gaming, the one whose arrival I have long foreseen. Yeah, I'd like to show you something. Behold! It's a Junimo! You've seen one before, haven't you? They call themselves the Junimos. Mysterious spirits, these ones. For some reason, they refuse to speak with me. I'm not sure why they've moved into the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. Hmm? You found a golden scroll written in an unknown language? Most interesting. Stay here. I'm going to see for myself. I'll return shortly. <laughs> He's just pieced out of there.
Found the notes. The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. We, the Junimo, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. You are one with the forest, and you will see the true nature of this scroll. Ooh, one with the forest. What do they mean? Sniff, sniff. Aha. Come here. I'm going to dunk you in the cauldron. Yeah, dunked on. My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Maybe fern, moss scrub, caramel top toadstool. Can you smell it? Yes, I can smell it. Here, drink up. Let the essence of the forest permeate your body. Oh boy. I left Joja Corp for this. It gives you it gives you energy back. I didn't realize that. That's interesting. Oh, I'm gonna throw up though. Oh, everything's going green. We're tripping balls. We're getting filled with foresty energy. <laughs> this is uh having a wild moment with the trees. <laughs> Leopard, you'd be surprised how often this specific circumstance of getting high happens in this game. I've gained the power of forest magic. Now I can decipher the true meaning of the Junimo scroll. Nice. Well, I'm going to go say hi to you anyways. Hello. Ah, yes, I predicted your arrival. Let me drink more juice. I'm hooked on the juice. You can see the chair. There's some more stuff back here. What are you doing? I only allow those I trust to enter there. Yeah, there's a trap door with some things in it. Alrighty, let's go back to the, uh, the Junimos before we run out of time today. Ooh, horse rubbish. I'm getting distracted again. What are you up to, Sarah? I've got some seeds, and I'm about to plant them. Ah, nice. Which seeds do you get? So, I got... I, I couldn't really decide what I wanted, so I got a mix. I got ten parsnips, six bean starters, six cauliflower seeds, five potato seeds, okay. and eight kale seeds. When you plant the beans, they come on a runner, so you need to make mm -hmm. sure that you... You can't walk on the bean runners, so you need mm -hmm. to make sure that you can access... What's this? Ooh, I found some bombs. Access what? Sorry. Um, you need to find. You need to be able to access the beans. So don't plant them in a square. Plant the beans in a line. Mm -hmm. Have you have you planted them yet? Nope. Good. Um, I'll sort them because I can go like if I'm wanting a line of six. Yeah, hmm. plant them in their own line and make sure you can walk around them. It's yeah. fine. I found some bombs in a crate. Nice. I think that's what they mean. I think they mean that crates wash up on the beach occasionally and you can open them and you find things. Wait, time to commit an act of terrorism. I'm going to bomb the community center. No, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, Linus wants an anchovy. Actually, I don't think I've gone to meet Linus yet. Let's return back to the community center. I'm really confused on this. Here we go. So the first quest. We gotta fill these bundles. So there's the exotic foraging bundle, which is five of these items. There is the spring foraging bundle, which is all four of these items. We already have two of them with us. So that's pretty good. Uh, winter, so obviously we won't be able to do these seasonal ones until we're in the right season. And then construction bundle is 198 wood, 
99 stone and 10 hardwood. And we don't have a good enough axe to get hardwood yet. So... <sighs> right. Uh, so I need to come back with a horseradish and a dandelion. I'm going to take the back path. Actually, yeah, I'll take the back path. Maybe I'll find those items on the way. But I'll get that bundle finished today. I'll tell you what, this game does really go a lot faster when you actually have, like, two people working. Oh, here's Demetrius. Linus is probably in his tent. Right, I've met... I need three more people. Something over here doesn't look like it. A rabbit! I've got two more people to meet, but I'm not sure who they are. Yeah. So you, meet, you see what I mean about the bean starters, right? Don't plant them next to each other, because you can't walk yeah, through Yeah, sorry. I got so far, and I think I was accidentally pressing the wrong thing, and then I kind of got a bit stuck. That's fine. Probably a bit late for me to go to the community centre, isn't it? Well, I'm going to go there now. Oh, okay. I'll see you there, then. Well, what are you going there for? Well, it's a task that I haven't done yet. Oh, I'll just go the same way as you. Wait for me! Or not. <laughs> I'll wait for you. Oh, thank you! I'm not sure this is actually the quickest way, though. I feel like you probably no. would have beaten me there. Oh, but it's a Sebastian, yeah. Oh, it's locked. Makes sense. And it's that way. Right. Um, I just brought one of everything. I can't remember what we needed <laughs> for this bundle. Right, so we need a daffodil and a horse uh, leak. There we go! Bundle ah. complete! So now we get some spring seeds. Oh, the irony. You just bought a load of seeds, didn't you? Now that Junimo is bringing the uh, bundle back. Is wandering around watering the community center. I like it. So yeah, each room has its own set of objectives. Yeah, spring props will go in here. An artisan bundle. Yeah, we don't have any of these yet. We got to get back in a minute. It's getting late. Yeah, I'm. I'm going to toodle home. There's a fish tank room. Okay, I, I'll tell you what. Let me handle the fish tank uh, bundles. Mm -hmm. If that's right. Yeah. Let's get home. We can plant these uh, spring seeds tomorrow. Man, it's actually really dark. I miss having that ring that lets you see in the dark. I'll have to get that late game. Yeah, we will have to get that. Um, oh yeah, that's what I was going to do before bed. So did you plant and water all those seeds? Yeah. Ooh, thank you. No problemo. And... To make it even better, there'll be a surprise in the morning. A surprise? A surprise. Oh 
What do you mean? Well, I can't tell you what I mean, because otherwise it wouldn't be a surprise. You the cat's staying at mine tonight. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there you go. Cool. It is Sunday. The Queen of Sauce is on the telly. You'll get more cooking recipes. Stir fry. Ah, scarecrow. How scary. Uh -huh. Right, I'm gonna plant the rest of these spring seeds. The spirits are displeased with me today, apparently. I have a letter! I'm gonna go meet the wizard. Okay, I'll uh, walk all these. Hey, cool. See you in a while. See you in a bit. I can remember how to get down there, that is. Uh, I think it's down and round. Hello, Dossily. How you doing? We are doing Stardew Valley. We uh, we got set up yesterday, and uh, now we've got all the technical details under control. We are actually doing some co-op. The lovely DJ Cookie, who is currently off to see the wizard. The the mysterious carts here today as well. Ooh, okay, let's go have a look. Oh, I just spotted Although a crab. Oh no, that broke. was <laughs> that was the cat. I thought that was a crab wandering across the beach. I, I think <laughs> I, I, yeah, crabby cat. I think I need to give the cat some water as well. Hold on. <laughs> the cat has died of dehydration. There you go. This game is very relaxing. Yes, I don't tend to schedule these um, weekend streams, but I, f I feel like if there is, if we do end up with time at the weekend in the future, we may do a weekend stream, and it's likely to be this. Found a potato. Can I plant a potato? No, I don't want to eat the potato. But my mum, in real life, actually has an allotment. And she grows a lot of plants down there. So I did that as a kid growing up. Did any of your family ever have an um, allotment? Who, me? Yeah. No, but one of my mum's um, friends did when I was growing up, so I sometimes went down there, but... Oh yeah. I wasn't really a huge fan. I think it was because I was so scared of bees at the time. Mm. So I need a green bean and a cauliflower for this bundle. Well, I'll go drop off the, the parsnip and the potato. Also, it is May Lewis's birthday. Doesn't he like parsnips? Did you actually look up what he likes? Um, yeah, I've got it on my other screen. But the problem right. is, everything we give him is neutral because we've not got a kitchen yet. Unless we happen to have a hot pepper. No. There's Autumn's Bounty, Glazed Yams, Green Tea, Hot Pepper, Vegetable Medley. He likes blueberries, cactus fruit, and coconut, and the rest of it is neutral. Right, okay. Except well, salmon berries and wild horseradish. He doesn't like those, or holly or quartz. Okay. Uh, I'll just give him an eel. No, I'll leave the eel, because that's uh, something from the fish tank thing. Let's give him a daffodil, right then. Too hot for anything but watching streams. How are you? Yeah, agreed. It is pretty hot. 
even where we are. Um, no, I'm good. Um, I've got a lot of work to do next week. Um, I'm going to a concert, actually, in Devon next weekend, so I've got to make sure to get all my work finished before I do that, because I'm taking some time I'm off to do that. Here you go, have a, have a parsnip. There you go. Oh, I meant to give you the dandelion. Or daffodil, whatever. Whatever. Eh, anything's better than nothing. Yeah, I actually used up most of my energy just watering those plants. This is the thing, you can get into a trap of actually planting too much stuff and then you don't have enough energy to water it all. Okay, grab another parcel. Oh, I should grab the wood and stuff as well, shouldn't I? How much wood do we have? Oh, I can grab the stone. Uh, I've got 328 on me. Right, where are you? Uh, in town. Okay, I'll come meet you. Um, I'm by Piers. Can you drop 200 wood on the ground? How do I do that? You just you just go into your menu and then you right click oh. yeah. outside Sorry. like this. Mm. Right click outside. Or uh, no, you left click outside. Yeah, if I left click outside, it just throws the whole 328 yeah. down. Okay, so you've got I'll, the full amount now. Yeah, I'll, gi I'll give it back to you in a sec. Yeah. It's 35 degrees oh, where you're I've met Blimey. another new one. Yeah, that's a bit hotter than where it is here. I've got one more person to meet, and I'm not sure who it is. Is it one of the kids? I don't know. I thought I met them when they were being taught outside. Right, the in construction the is in here, I believe. Mm. Yes, yeah, so I can go there. Then we just need to get some hardwood, so we probably need to get an axe upgrade for that. Hmm. Oh, it's what's his name? Yeah. I want to say Dimitri, but I'm not sure if that's the right name. No, it's Demetrius. Demetrius. I'll go meet him now, and then at least I've done all the introductions. Yeah, he's just he's just standing over the cliff, pondering his life at the moment. Over the cliff? By his house, uh, near the mountains. Ah, great, okay. Good, good, thank you. Ooh, a fishing spot. Gimme, give gimme. Give So, we got a feisty one. I got a chub. You know, oh, keep of course. Using this fishing spot. Does that mean to get Lewis to like me? Does that mean we effectively have to give him two birthday presents, one from you and one from me? I don't know. See what it says. Yeah, I'd better go give him a birthday present. Question is, where is he? I got a largemouth bass. Nice. Well, it looks like the mines is open. I'm doing the mines cutscene. Great. I was just peering down into this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Still, there's probably good ore down there, but a dark place undisturbed for so long. I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Here, take this. You might need it. I got a sword. You received a sword. Oh no! <laughs> I've got inventory for this stuff. I'm gonna have to drop the uh, green algae. Got a sword. 
Name's Marlin, by the way. I'm running a venture scale right outside. I'll keep my eye on you. Prove yourself, and I might think about making you a member. Hmm. Well, it's a bit late to start mining. Yeah, I'm not allowed in until I uh, they do some mining. Feels bad. Level one sword, two to five damage, nice. Right, um, let's see. Still need to beat the little kid. I also still need to actually talk to Marlin. Because that, the cutscene does not count as me talking to him. But I don't think it's going to be easy to find. You are very productive today, nice. Uh, I'm going to go see if there's any more forage on the beach. Oh wait, I don't have any room in my inventory, I should just head back. Well, that was one week. How long do you want to keep going for? Do you want to keep going for another 45 minutes? Yeah. Okay. Just store this stuff. Uh, I should really give myself some more time to get back, shouldn't I? Probably sell most of these daffodils now, actually. Same with the dandelions. I think we're going to need too many of these. Where did you get your bomb from? There was a crate on the um on the beach. It just washed up on the on the farm. Trees have planted a lot of sapling. Uh, so close and yet so far. Uh, run from the slimes! Run from the slimes! Oh, you're in the mines? Yeah, and I've probably left it too late. I need to leave the yeah, mine you, and kind yeah, of make my way to, back. You do need to come back. You've got like two hours. Yeah. Should be doable, right? <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Come on. <laughs> Go via north. Go via north. Hmm. Uh oh. Come on. <laughs> oh, don't get lost. It's more trying to find the quickest way back. I'm going via the top just so that I can loop around to the house. Yeah, the top is quickest from the, the mines, I think. There you are. Yeah, here I am. Phew! Day. Already. I have potato. Time to uh, continue watering.
Do you still have that bomb on you? Ah, uh, cherry bomb. No. I might nab one of those. Are oh, you gonna take that down the mines? Hmm. Idea. I just want to try and craft that furnace because I think that would be really useful. Yeah, good do idea. Do you mind if I leave you to water or do you want me to help no, a bit? No, go for it. Go for it. I'll uh, Thank water. Cool. Maybe we can join you in the mines. Hmm. But I'll get this water first. Did we ever get around to buying that larger backpack? No. I think uh, I bought seeds. Yeah, I mean, that's fair enough, because that's, that's on the list. We'll get a lot more money from these crops when they're growing. Let's stop watering tiles that aren't the actual tiles. Those cauliflowers will be good. They're done. Mm -hmm. I watered the last one. I think we're going to save the mines until it's a rainy day again. That way I'm not going to spend all my energy watering. I might go have a look around the beach. Ah, uh, never mind, I tried. Mm. You're not dead, are you? No, it's just, um, I'm running out of space to pick up everything I want. So I yeah. thought I'd use the, the bomb to try and get some more copper and... Well, needless to say, I'm kind of going around in circles with that. Should do some fishing here, actually, get some mountain fish. I think the best spot for that is actually on the lake over the bridge. The pier. Let's aim over here. I'll see how many of these fish related bundles I can do. Smallmouth bass. When, when we were on holiday, I got I got that book on rock pooling, so you can identify all sorts of stuff when we go on beaches. I got a stick. I think Leah likes driftwood as a gift. You bloody slime! Get out my way! You got a gold bass. Right. Really? Let's go find Leo. Right, let's hail. Haley is taking a picture. Let's go put this stuff back. I'll, I'll tell you what, we can get ducks later. We can actually get, um, that's something worth prioritizing is getting some animals so we can actually get some stuff from them. I think you get duck feathers from ducks. Uh, yes, this game is very much not like oxygen not included in that when you ranch animals here, you're not doing it for food, you're doing it for the products they produce. I found a chicken statue. All right, this can get out of here. 
chicken statue. Let's go donate this. I found it buried on the beach. Dinosaur DLC when? There are actually dinosaurs in this game. You can you can ranch those, but it's quite they're quite rare. I can't actually remember how you get them. No, there is a thing. You can find like a dinosaur egg in like the lower levels of the mines, I think. Or like Skull Cavern. And then you can ranch dinosaurs. And I think you can make dinosaur egg mayonnaise. I remember that being a thing. Your weight packing farm, me too. It's gonna take one. Chicken statue. Goes here. Oh, actually, hold on. I need to check with him. I think he does occasionally have rewards. I think he'll let you know when he has a reward for you. Hello. Hello. Just yeah, I'm going to go way. sell these. The library. I'm going to go sell these to Pierre and then I'm going to scour the beach. No, no, wait a minute. I need to get rid of these first to the library, I think. Hello, Pierre. Hello, uh... Ah, Sebastian wants a Jojo Cola. I didn't save that, did I? I ate it. We found the quartz. Nice. Oh, here's Leo. Hey, I gotta give him a drink. Oh, I've got cauliflower seeds as a reward. Nice. Yeah, make sure to go plant those. Hmm. What? Oh, Clint, you're not allowed to finish at four. <laughs> I, I could hear you in the other, in the other room. <laughs> Just sorry. Ooh. Nah, that's alright. Um, I found lots of clap. Lots of clams, lots of birds. Get out of here, birds. Found a stone. I have a sunfish. Nice. It's too late for me to sell any of this stuff to... To, uh, Willy. So let's just grab the coral and get out of here. Actually, I could donate, I could donate a few of these. Oh, this is dried up starfish. Hold on. I'm gonna eat this bass. Take that. That's an artifact. I don't want to eat this bass. The other stuff will stay here. Yeah, I'm gonna ship these clams. I'm gonna keep the uh why did I go this way? <laughs> I'm gonna keep the nice clam. So Oh no, I was gonna communicate I was gonna community center these. Yep. Let's go bring these to community center. Ooh, daffodil. Go around there and pick those. Right, what do you want? Hey, me. Crab pot bundle. Plan. Uh, that's it. What about river fish? Lake fish. Nah, I don't think anyone wants a smallmouth bass. They do want an eel. That is in the night fishing bundle, so maybe I'll donate the other eel there. Sardines. Specialty fish. Puffer fish. We need to have a puffer fish tank at some point. That's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. I feel like the coral was something that someone wanted. So is there any particular one you're trying to do at the moment out of these rooms? 
No, I'm just wondering whether I can put a coral somewhere. I don't think so. No, I think we just sell it. We're ready. Unless Vincent wants it for his birthday. Does he like coral? I don't know. Look, his birthday's in a couple of days. Linus is foraging in the bin. Oh, you got the cutscene? Yeah. I haven't got the cutscene. Right, yeah, let's uh, you go. You can give Vincent the daffodil for his birthday. These things. Keep the bass. Oh, yeah, there were a load of daffodils up by the things that I've got to pick. Oh, and I'll, I'll plant the cauliflower seeds as well, because we need to make sure those are growing before the end of the season. I'm an avid walker, apparently. Right, I'm going to go back to the community center because I saw a load of daffodils. So, to be honest, now it's kind of too dark to see anything. Uh, that's a thing. Gimme. No, it's up there. I'm on a mad quest for a horseradish. It's certainly possible. Oh, sorry. I had one of those and I ate it in the mine. No, uh, it's alright. No, it, no, I was just saying there was a link that was on a cliffside and I thought I could grab it easily and <laughs> had to walk the whole way around the cliff, but it's fine. What do you need a leak for? I don't. I just wanted to grab a leak. Oh, okay. It appears I've sprung a leak. Aha, uh -huh, very good. Um, right, I'm going to go grab those daffodils and then I'm going to return to bed. Yeah, I think I need to go to bed on this. Probably wasn't worth it, but I wanted to grab them. Yeah, time for bed, I think. Could sell these two actually. There you go. Cat, cat is on the bed. Oh. Got level two foraging. I can now make a survival burger. I. Who so can I? This game is kind of weird in that you get all these recipes, but you can't like craft a lot of them until you get a kitchen. I think a survival burger is one that you can craft without a kitchen. Be a bit random if you couldn't. Hmm. Day night. Raining. I'm free. No more watering the plants today. What's my fortune, fortune teller? Shard of knowledge from the future. Spirits are very happy today. Right, this is going to be a great day for the mines, then. Ah. Let me pick a parsnip. Sorry. Robin has sent me marketing materials. As They're in, nice. hey, I'm sorry about your grandpa's house and me kind of going on about it, but... Come buy stuff off me and I can make it better. Nice. Right, I'm going to go buy the backpack upgrade and go mining. If you don't mind, because I want to. Uh, it's yeah, a, it's I've fine. got a good spirit stay, so I think it makes sense. So yeah. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna actually take most of this stuff and sell it to 
sell it to yeah. I have a cherry bomb, so if you want me to give you that. Nah, that's all right. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna come back for the fish and sell the fish to the other guy. Mm -hmm. I've got a few geodes, so I'll uh, get those sorted. Yeah, you could actually. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and do that. I may have gotten here a bit early. When does it open? Eight or nine? Nine. Probably down. nine. Thing is, I was thinking of going in the mines early, but I know by the time I do that, I'll miss Clint again. The thing is, I just want to get the money for the backpack upgrade before I go. Hmm. I know there's more stuff on the beach as well. I don't think this is going to be mm -hmm. quite enough to get the money. I think I'm going to have to come back. What well. money do you need? Well, no, I, I just need 2,000 to buy the backpack upgrade. Oh, I see. Yeah, I you might have to just go in shop. and see what you can do. I should have shipped more of this stuff last night. That's what I should have done. I didn't realize it was going to rain. I should have checked the weather. Right, here you go. Oh, this is enough gold. Good. Backpack upgrade. Where? Oh, it's on the desk, isn't it? Already. We're skinned. Right. I'm going to take this, and I'm just going to go straight to the mines. I'll, uh, I'll see you later. All right. Have fun. Yeah. If you want to make more money, feel free to sell some fish to Willy. Yeah, I don't think I need the bombs. I'm full of energy. Okay. Ooh, uh, a leak. Mm -hmm. Right, let's go do some digging. No, wrong button, Matt. You can see now I'm in the mines, we've got a health bar. So the enemy is down here. I'm not sure how far I'm going to go. I'm mostly just going to try and get copper. Ooh, it's a crab. Get out of here. Ah, oh, the crab gave me a bomb. Nice. Slime time. The mining sound is so good, I know, right? Yeah, I think I'm mostly just looking for ore. If I find any unusual looking stones, I might mine those. Let's just go down. I'm gonna get to level 5 at least. Ooh, it's really dark in here. Yeah. Ooh, I found lots of stuff in here. I've got the large backpack. That's I can actually uh, 
I went into Jojo Mart just now and spoke to the guy at the front thinking I'd buy some Jojo Cola or something. And yeah. he's basically said that we can only sell membership to the owner of your residence. Oh, right. So I'm the only one allowed to buy a, a membership to Jojo. That's funny. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to do that, so don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. that oh, wait a minute. Hmm. Yes. No. Right, I'm actually going to turn my visual contrast up because I can't see shit. It's not the right button. His birthday spring 10, okay. Maybe I need to dig up another ladder. Let's see where it opened up. I must have dug it up earlier because I can't see where it is. Right, let's eat that leech. There's the ladder. Right, okay. This slime is like an alpha slime. Got something special. Found a knife! Carving knife. It's a little dagger. I'm not sure that's better than the sword. So the sword, the dagger has less range, but has a really high attack speed. I'm not sure whether that's useful or not. Either way, I'm pretty low on energy. Let's just go down to level 5. Oh, hello. Fancy seeing you here. Wait, where are you? Oh, you're on level 5 too. Mind you. Do you have any food? Uh, I've got a leak. Can you give me a leak? How do I... Thank you. Welcome. Yeah. Gonna look for some more ore. I found a lot of ore. Ooh, here's a yellow. Here's a blue slime. Let's try the dagger. I seem to take more damage. There's a ladder. I don't think Let there's me know any if you ore. Have any in here. luck finding any copper? Oh, I found enough copper for a furnace already. Uh, I've got a couple more to go. Unless we just have one furnace between us. Uh, maybe. I guess I'm just stabbing everyone. Cool. Thank you. No. Okay. Mm. 
Get out of the way, I'll do something drastic. Found a scroll. Oh yeah. <laughs> Bomb him. Run! It didn't kill him. Oh really? Him. What kind of slime is this? It's a big slimy slime. Go back soon. Yeah, we did find a lot of copper. Or I did, anyways. Yeah, I'm pretty much out of energy. Let's We're get both out. Just of trying here. to find the exit. Okay, run. Ah, I get stuck. So every five levels you go down, there's a checkpoint. So we can, we can use the elevator to get back down there. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Mm-hmm. Um... Yeah. It's probably a pretty good time to end it, isn't it? I'm just in a big Could mine be, run. yeah. Well, do you want to do, oh, do, you want to do one more day? I don't mind either way, really. Let's I mean, we could put some... Hmm? Let's do one more day. Let's make the furnace. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go to sleep. I don't think anything has actually grown. Good night, whiskers. Stir fry. Crows! Hey! I I made a thingamy bobby though. Yeah, you, the thing is the scarecrow is like an area of effect, so you probably need to put a scarecrow by the beans too. Oh, the air is full of blossoms. Watering Simulator 2023. Right, well, I'll tell you what, I can go donate a lot of these minerals to uh, Gunther. See what he has to say. Yeah, the well seems a bit pointless. It really is. Yeah, there's a dwarf scroll, some bug meats. I don't know whether I prefer this sword or dagger. Uh, do you want me to make the furnace? Yeah, you can do. Um, where did you want to put it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, we can put it here, maybe. Yeah, okay. Then we can and uh, that we can smelt the rest of this off there. Mm -hmm. I've got a load of geodes as well. I better go handle those. Mm Got a copper bar. Slay so ten slimes, you'll have earned your place in my adventure skill. Nice. I might go down towards the sea and fish or something. Go for it. I'm gonna go. Um... Actually, I think I put the chicken statue in the chest or something, didn't I? No, I didn't put the chicken statue in there. I put the dried starfish in there. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Ah, Clint's got his task of wanting 20 copper ores to see if there's any gems hidden inside. Oh, okay, I didn't notice that. Uh, how many copper ores have we got left? Well, I, I, I just smelted them. Okay, back to the Sorry. mines I go. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, wait, it's Thingy's birthday. I need a daffodil. Why did I have to forget that? Oh right, Haley's birthday. Vincent's. Oh, Vincent's birthday. Squirrel. There's one. Um. It's not letting me. Oh, now it is. You would be so you... disappointed with a daffodil for your birthday. True. Feels bad, man. Well, I suppose he is quite young. The question is, where is he hiding? You should be asking for a PS5 for his birthday. True, true. Oh, speaking of which, I think I need to talk to him, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, have a bomb. Actually, let me, what are you uh... trying to give him a bomb for? You don't want to be a bad influence. <laughs> yeah, let's donate the scroll. Oh, you've already put the minerals in here. Okay, that's good. Uh, the scroll can go over here. It says collect rewards. Ah, I can get some color class seeds too. Nice. Hmm. Select empty slot. Talk to Vincent. Maybe he's in We've school. We've got two people left. Let's actually just check who these people are. Uh, Sebastian and Caroline. Okay. Fair enough. So Caroline, I'm probably going to find around here somewhere. I need to go back and plant these toy plant seeds. Oh, I need to go do the geodes. I can sell Clint the stones, can't I? I think so. Do that and get some money for opening these geodes then. Yeah, here you go. You can actually buy the ore off of him, but it's super expensive. Mm. It's I'm trying to remember what it takes to fix the um, the bridge at the top. So that you don't have to go down into the mines to get ore. Mm. I don't know. Well, I'm finding lots of things. Let me sell you, uh, actually, let me check. Which ones? So the calcite we've already done. So let's sell him the calcite. Then process some more geodes. Mudstone. Right, I can donate all this stuff. So, mudstone. Yeah, I guess all the minerals can go over here. Granite. Thunder egg. Earth crystal. There you go. And now you have some melon seeds. Plant these in the summer. Right, okay. Cool. Now, let's drop these fish off at the community center. Oh, I've got one more geode. Hold on. Oh, clear Clint's shut. Wow. Time flies in this game. Found a sunfish. Funny, just occasionally bumping into you. 
<laughs> yeah. Like, howdy, howdy, howdy. Right, sardine goes in here. You know, I uh, keep forgetting that I can't really see what you get up to, because earlier on when you were like, here, have a bomb, I genuinely thought you were trying to give it to Vincent. <laughs> and I was like, no, wait a minute, No, I was, what? I was joking about that, yeah. Oh, okay. I got a chub. I think chub is just the most amusing name that a fish could possibly have. Mm -hmm. You don't want to tell too many people that you have a chub. I need to talk to Caroline. Caroline has the green hair, doesn't she? She lives with Pierre. Those are Wednesdays. Yeah. I'm gonna go plant these cauliflowers. I actually got room. I do have room. That's good. Could have organized that slightly better. Still got a load of energy, so I should probably should probably do something. Is there strawberries? There are strawberries. So, um, yeah, there's a special festival in a couple of days, and that's the only place you can get the strawberry seeds. But the strawberries are a really profitable crop. They're the best. I think they're one of the best spring crops. So what we should try and do is we should try and save up money to buy strawberry seeds for the spring festival. I can sell the rest of these sardines now, and I think I'm gonna sell the. I think I'm gonna sell the silver herring. I'm gonna sell the sunfish. There you go. And now let me chop some trees. Oh, I've got rice shoot seeds. Oh yeah, you can. Yeah, when you grow rice, you need to grow it near a water source so that it's mm -hmm. irrigated. Can we attach bait to the bamboo fishing rod? Uh, I think you need to get a better rod for that. I can't remember. There we go. That will do, I think. Trying to get back home. Let's plant the mixed seed. And yeah, I'm pretty much done, I think. Would you look at that? It's four o'clock. The cat's on the bed. Whiskers is swimming around in the tank. Uh, alrighty. I think that's where I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, I'm tired. Yeah, it went pretty well. Oh, I got the yeah. scarecrow at last. 
I have not harvested a lot of plants yet. Basic fertilizer. Right, so when we resume this, we'll resume it at, um, on day 11. So now we can just leave, not worry about it. But yeah, I hope you, uh, hope you had fun with that. Did you have fun with that? Yeah, it was good. Thanks for having me on and, yeah, no you know, good fun. Yeah. Bye. Oh, whoops. Bye. <laughs> here you go. I was trying to sword you. Yeah, here you go. I kept moving the I kept moving the rug instead. Yeah, come here. You can move the rug, but ah. Bab. Bab. <laughs> Why are you that trying to hurt? I don't know. Me? Anyways, right, I'm gonna wrap it up now. But yeah, thanks for thanks for coming on, darling, and I'll uh, see you there. All right, see you later. Bye. Alrighty. Well, that was uh, that was Stardew Valley. I think we made some good progress. Thanks very much for hanging out with us as well. Um, if you like what you see, feel free to follow on Twitch and you'll get a notification when I go live. These Stardew Valley multiplayer streams, I'm not scheduling them in, but if we have free time on a weekend, um, then we might, we might do this again and we'll keep going. We want to get to the tropical island because neither of us have actually done that. Um, and yeah, I'm going to upload all the VODs to YouTube, so this, this one will go up tomorrow. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Good background while I make Ruby dough. Yes, I hope the potion craft goes well. Um, and yeah, depending on how well the Stardew Valley stuff does on YouTube, um, I might I might make a discussion video about Stardew Valley, because I made a calculator ages ago about what crops to grow and when, and obviously I'm not doing that in the stream at the moment, because we're just, we're just, uh, we're just vibing, really. But, uh, yeah, let me, uh, let me exit the game. And, uh, close out properly. I'll go find someone else to, uh, I'll go find someone else to rage who's playing Stardew Valley. I'm not sure who is playing Stardew Valley. We'll see who's on. Yeah, really fun game, really relaxing. You know what? I don't think I'm gonna go. I, I don't think I'm gonna go raid anyone. Uh, but enjoy the rest of your weekend, and uh, I'll see. You, I'll, I'll be back tomorrow for more option not included stuff, where we continue the rhyme revenge. We'll see how that goes. Um, just a bit of advance warning. I have a lot of work to do this week, so I'm depending on how much overtime I have to do, I may not stream every day. But I will let you know via the Discord, and you'll obviously know by the Twitch notifications when I'm going live. Um, so yeah, hopefully that'll work out. But yeah, until then, see you soon. Bye for now.